the breasts are little so it just it looks funny you know it's a little funny looking Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sofa Society. Thanks so much for even clicking on this video. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a one year and a half update on my breast reduction surgery that I had about a year and a half ago. And all the videos that are related to my breast reduction surgery are will be posted like right here or right here somewhere. So you can just click that tab and catch up when I initially first got it done. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I had my surgery um, last December, like almost right before Christmas. And I do have some notes just written down in my little book here just to kind of keep me afloat of how this video is going to go. So first, just to talk about the incision that I got, I got the inverted anchor incision. So I'll have a picture of an example, not my actual incision, but an example right here. So first, what most people are kind of scared of or whatever about having a breast reduction is scarring. And mind you, this was the first surgery I've ever had in my entire life. I've never, I've never had anything. I was a bit nervous, okay? Reluctant, but I did it. And as far as the scarring, the scarring is not bad at all. Um, so I told you guys I had the inverted anchor. So they went around here and then down and then under as well. And I think the incision method that the doctor chooses just depends on, you know, your breast, your body weight, how much fat they need to get out and so all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, the scarring down here, it's like a line right here. That's almost gone. That's pretty much gone. Around the nipple, that's totally gone. Um, under here, it goes like to right here. Um, there is a little bit of scarring, but it's really not bad at all at first initially and when I first when my surgery was first done I was starting to develop not a keloid, but it's another word for it But it's kind of like raised skin like raised a little bit and so I just did some information on how you can kind of help get rid of that and so This is the first tip that I will give you guys massage the your uh scarring because what it is is scar tissue that's building up and so if you massage it look at me demonstrating if you massage it it helps break down that scar tissue so definitely massaging then there's a thing called silicone sheets i got mine from target and they're just like sheets of silicone and you just place them on the scars and you can massage them with them on there and leave those on for like forever because those tremendously helped when my skin was trying to lift up um, which could have led to a keloid, but I put those on there and it nipped that in the bud. Next, I would say I did buy bio oil because, um, of course, everyone knows bio oil is just good for scarring in general, stretch marks, all that stuff. Um, and I was using it faithfully. Now, I did slack off a little bit, but I will say I think the bio oil did help with the scarring that I said down here and then around the nipple. I think that helped a lot because that those are pretty much gone. Um, but definitely silicone sheets. Those will help you guys amazingly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is break this down into pros and cons. I'm going to start with the pros just because honestly I have more cons than I do pros of having a breast reduction anyway. So the pros I would say my neck and my back feel so much better which was the initial reason that I even got the surgery because like right here it would just like be like ugh, aching. Um, my back, I don't really have back pain for real, but just a little bit of back pain, even that has gone. So like neck and shoulder pain is tremendously improved. It feels so much better, which is the reason I got the surgery, not just for cosmetic reasons. Um, my shirts, it's just a weird situation. Like they fit better, but they also don't. I don't have to really wear a bra for real a lot of times, but I'm just the type of person I like wearing bras anyways. Maybe because I'm just used to having to my whole life, but I just don't like the whole free the nipple thing. But if I don't, like the other day, I just literally put on like a hoodie and ran to the store. I ain't have to put on no bra or nothing. Um, and then lastly, the healing process of the surgery, so easy. It was... <sighs> For people who don't know, my pain tolerance is like a 0 0.3, okay? And this was the easiest, and of course everybody's body is different, but for me this was the easiest thing ever, like after I got the surgery, I didn't even have to really take the pain medicine that he gave me. Um, like it was so easy, the healing process, so simple, so easy, you just follow the instructions, like everything was fine. I wasn't like in pain, like, ah, I'm dying, but... 
I will say the only thing that was an inconvenience really was sleeping because I naturally sleep on my stomach so after I got the surgery you cannot sleep on your stomach for obvious reasons so you have to like sleep on your back I hated it um you really don't want to sleep on your side because you're like pushing that weight to one side not comfortable but I just had to try to get adjusted to it I will say this if you are a stomach sleeper and you have to now get adjusted to be in a back sleeper while you're healing putting a pillow under each armpit I don't know why y'all it just helps so much so that is a tip of the day pillows under the armpits that's only while you're in the healing process now obviously it's a year later I sleep on my stomach and whatever and now I'm going to get to the cons this part might be a while because Y'all, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm regretful, but let me just start the cons out with this. So before I got the surgery, I've always, well, I'm not a small person. Okay, let's just say that. And so I've always, you know, wanted to lose weight. I've always, you know, right, right now I'm about to try to start a little diet, you know. And so my mom tried to tell me. You need to lose weight first before you have the surgery. What did I do? I ain't listen. Because honestly, I wanted the surgery first before I tried to lose weight because I thought it would help aid in me. Like jumping rope would be much easier. And it, it really is running much easier. I don't have like going on while I'm trying to run or walk or do uh, jump ropes or anything like that. But if you are trying to, if you are thinking or wanting to lose weight, and you want to have the breast reduction surgery, I would say lose the weight first. I should have listened, but I didn't. Now it's too late. Lose the weight first, then have the surgery. Let me tell you why. This is my number one negative thing about this surgery. And it has nothing to do with the doctor or anyone. It's me. So when you are um, larger, how do I explain this? Like when I had my original breasts and they were big or whatever, they just went with my body. They just flowed you know everything is kind of big but now that the breasts are much smaller but everything else is still big it, it almost makes me look a little awkward and like I'm just having to get readjusted to my appearance now so like the what it is is the breast to arm ratio and shoulder like my arms are like pretty big um my shoulders are broad and the breasts are little so it just it looks funny you know it's a little funny looking so I'm just trying to get used to that um back to what I was saying the t-shirt or shirts in general like of course it's easier to find or to wear like a button-down shirt because the buttons will actually close better now but like earlier I was about to wear a shirt to record this video in but it just doesn't look right because my chest looks small but my arms are big it just looks weird so now I just wear like a bunch of t-shirts which is cool because I've been wearing t-shirts but anyways that's beside the point so that's my main thing if you are a larger person you I mean it might just look a little funny looking which is just the reality but yeah another thing bras I know most people who get the breast reduction surgery they're like oh my god I cannot find a bra before I have the surgery oh my god I couldn't find a bra my size but now that I have had the surgery and my cup size yeah is smaller it would be easier to find a bra but like I said because I'm still large the cup size is small but the width of the band is still um why so it's still hard to find a bra because you need something that's gonna like wide enough to cover the width of your your body but small enough for just the breast so it's hard so what I've been doing a lot is I wear a lot of like sports bras um the bra I have on now is it's like it snaps in the back like a real bra but it's way more stretchy like there's no wire it's really no structure but it does have light padding in it but it's not like a real structured bra so it just fits better because trying to find like a regular a real bra is still hard because like I said my back and my body is still wide but the breasts are much smaller so that's another big 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 con to this whole thing also another thing I feel for some reason less feminine and I don't know why I really don't it was like after I had the surgery and I was like on Instagram and just looking at YouTube and some girls that I follow you know influencers or just regular celebrities or whoever who had larger breasts um I don't know I was just looking at them and almost like a 
envious way now. I'm like, dang, I kind of wish, I kind of wish I would have kept what I had. But there's nothing I can do about it. Am I regretful? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I'm so grateful for being able to have the surgery, have, you know, to afford it and all that stuff. My neck and my shoulder feel so much better, which was the initial reason. Okay. Like I said, this wasn't really a cosmetic thing, but cosmetic and vanity does play into it. So am I regretful? It's like a 50, 50. Cause sometimes, like I said, I just don't like the matchup, but I think once I do lose weight, then it'll kind of match up it'll be better proportion. That's what it is. I feel like I'm unproportioned right now. That ain't cute. And lastly, I just want to get into a little bit of advice for anybody who's watching this who may be interested in getting the surgery, have the surgery coming up. If you do, comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, so the first thing I would say after you get the surgery, and the doctor will tell you this, and they tell you this for a reason. Do not bend over to pick something up off the floor and do not reach up super high. Let me tell you why. Because one time I dropped something, I don't know, maybe a pencil, who knows. When I tell you, and I told y'all, this was like the most easy process of healing, but bending over and reaching up high, there will be pain, okay? Bending over, for one, when you bend over, the, all your weight is going like here to your, to your chest. So when you bend over, all that pressure is like on all those fresh new incisions. It's over all the, the, the stitching all that weight is added to it as pressure it just it's like a, a burning stinging sensation don't bend over while you're healing reaching up because you're stretching uh-uh don't do it not comfortable painful actually as far as healing like i said super easy but randomly this is even like months later like six months later even now to this day it's a year and a half later every now and then you do get like just random like it feels like um i say bolts of lightning but it's like a sting like random stings and all that is is your veins your blood uh vessels everything is still getting adjusted and just healing up into a new home pretty much so it's like stings randomly just little stings uh throughout your breast area while you're still healing and then lastly um like i said i was not recommended to a physical therapist um but i wish i was because another thing now, I know I said the biggest thing, the biggest con to this whole thing was the breast to arm ratio if you are a larger person. But another thing is, it's just really weird because now that I've had the surgery, it's almost like my posture needs adjusting. So I did buy a back brace to wear around the house, um, but I don't know if that's going to fix it because I've never had the best posture anyways. I literally sit like this. But now that I've had the surgery, it's like my shoulders, I don't know, I'm always like this. And then I'll catch myself and I'm like, okay, let me drop my shoulders. It's just they're naturally like this. I don't know if it's from anesthesia when you're, I don't know, I don't know. But I've heard about this before and I don't really know what to do. So, of course, right now we're in quarantine, coronavirus, got everybody feeling sick in a house, in a house, bored in a house, all that stuff, locked and loaded. But once everything does open back up and or back to A-OK, -okay, then I do want to personally seek out a physical therapist on my own and just tell them like, you know, what's been going on. Because even now I'm talking to y'all like this, this is not how my shoulders are. They're supposed to be like this, but they just naturally go here. And that's only, it's only been doing that since I've had the surgery. So I know it's dealing something with this. My posture is just off. But anyways, so that is my one year update, one year and a half update on my breast reduction surgery. And if, like I said, if you are um, interested or scheduled to have this procedure done, let me know in the comments below. I would love to share some tips and advice more personally. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna insert any pictures or anything. I mean, I have on, this is just a t-shirt, so you really can't see anything, but I mean, to be honest, I'm low key flat chested and I did tell the surgeon like I want to be like <laughs> flat chested because I was just so annoyed but don't make rash decisions like that take my advice don't be like I'm so sick of my big breast I just want to be flat chested don't do all that now but um I mean I have something here but it ain't that much 
but that's okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you should just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. My channel is actually in the process of being converted into a lifestyle channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have great content coming you guys way and give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and thanks so much for tuning into this video sophie society i will see you guys in my next one